When cellist Sonia Vida Atherton first set to work on a film soundtrack about Jews traveling from Europe to the US, little did she know that like the film's protagonists, she would be embarking on her own journey of self-discovery. Sonia is currently touring Spain with a show called Night Dancers, a duo between herself and the actress Charlotte Rampling, which combines the poetry of Sylvia Plath and the music of Benjamin Britten. After the show, we talked about her 2011 album, Shantz Shrief, or Jewish songs, and a family history that spanned the continents. I was born in America, and my, my father was American. My mother is Romanian, Jewish Romanian. And uh, she left Romania when she was eight and uh, then began a long uh, journey of different countries. And then uh, she grew up in Lebanon, arrived in France and then met my father, who was in, in France for a visit. And they decided to live in the States. And after a few years, uh, my mother said, I miss Europe. So we came to France when I was about eight. And so she just told us, uh, if they ask, if somebody asks if you're Jewish, you say no, and that's it. But we didn't know what it was. It was, we knew too much or not enough. It's very strange, that sort of thing that is not said that is very heavy. Sonia's Jewishness moved to the back of her mind, and while never out of sight, her major Jewish revelation did not come until she was well into adulthood, and came about almost by chance. And then uh, a friend, of, uh, a director, Chantal Ackerman, uh, said, uh, I'm working on that film, uh, Histoire d'Amérique, about uh, Jews who immigrated from Eastern Europe to the States. And uh, could you work on the music? So I began to, to do research and to, to listen to Hazan and, to, and then uh, to work and to play those, those themes on the cello. And uh, suddenly I felt that it was like uh, something that was in me. Despite her work to bring Jewish musical traditions of the diaspora together, Sonia dislikes giving herself the name of musicologist, as she was less methodical and more impulsive than musical scientists, following her heart as much as her ears. It doesn't mean that I have to look to everything, because things that ha it, it happened like that. No, it's never ch by chance there is something. So, uh, of course, in fact, in Paris, I found quite, quite a lot, a little bit in New York and Jerusalem, and then on recordings and, and people singing some songs for me, some themes, some prayers. So it's through this work, through that music, that I went to my mother and I said, well, tell me about your story. And then uh, this is how I came to, to Judaism. Fittingly, it was music that opened a door to Sonia that seemed destined to be closed for good. A door that gave us the acclaimed album Shunt Suif and gave Sonia the history of her own heritage. This is Paul Walsh for Jane One in Spain. <laughs>